it's exciting. It's exciting. Like I said, it's fun. You know, the game is still fun. It's still a lot of joy there. Uh, I love the games. I love hostile environments. So it was, it was a lot of fun to be there, kind of just, you know, do our thing and hush them down a little bit at, at the crib. I know they wanted that one bad. They played a really good game. Probably should have won it in a lot of ways. But, you know, so we came out, we came out with the dub. We know how much you mean to this team, especially in the court. But when it comes to your family, how much did they lean on you during this, or did just kind of collect you guys, everyone? Uh, we haven't had that really conversation. We kind of just doing it, you know, together, taking a moment at a time, one moment at a time. You know, you, know, and you never know who go, who gonna break down. And that's why we, that's why we all there, you know, to kind of pick each other up, you know, help each other out through through a tough time. You've been pretty much staying up here, or been back and forth. No, no, my, uh, actually, my family is all in East Lansing. Uh, we've been at the Kellogg Center a lot. Uh, my mom also has a, a condo up here, and she's renting out. So we kind of just all right, everybody been in East Lansing. My brother been up here for a week. Grandma came, best friend came. Uh, now anybody, you name it, they've been coming up here and we just kind of together, uh, making it work. I don't mean to. Guys game. Was, was that tough for him to go back? Uh, no, back? actually, it was, it was pretty good for him, like I said, just to have that distraction. You know what I'm saying? It's 40 minutes, you know, probably two hours. The game probably lasts about two hours. It's two hours of just something else, you know what I'm saying? Something else, getting your mind away from it. Uh, it's tough. They hit you, you know, at random times, but if you can have that, you know, that two-hour distraction for you, that, that's always been good for us. Is it fair to say that, that, and I don't mean to make this a leading question, but are you are you dedicating this season to your brother's memory, or is, or is, is that sort of been the, the mindset? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, that was, if you know me, that's who I am, you know, from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just doing anything for myself. You know, it's always good for my, my family. Uh, you know, it smoothly goes. It just makes it, makes it a little tough. Uh, just, you know, going out there, you know, playing, just... You know, it hits you every now and then, but you know, to know he, he wants the best for me, uh, he wants me to do my best. You know, that's that's enough motivation to go out there and just make it proud. Well, well, the way you wanted to talk tonight, just kind of, you know, that, how much you appreciated it. Yeah, definitely. You know, I kind of been shut out for maybe a week or so, so I wanted to reach out to everyone and to tell them that I, you know, I see, you know, their condolences and their prayers and their love, and I, I really appreciate it, and it has really helped me and my family through this time. Yeah, oh, um, I just, I, right here, I just want to say uh, thank you all. You know, thank all the Spartan Nation. Uh, it's been a, a really tough time for, for me and my, and my family, so. Uh, just all the support, all the love, uh, all the flowers. Um, I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, uh, me and our family, you know what I'm saying? It's, there's no better, better place than this and how you guys just showed all how much you care, my teammates, my coaches, everyone in this building, man. I really, I really appreciate it from, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I lost a piece of my heart, but you, but you guys are, you keep me going. So I love everything about this place and I, and I really appreciate you guys, so thank you. For, I mean, I guess not for me. I mean, it sucks for me too, but for my parents and stuff like that. Because there's no, sometimes you just want to be sad in private. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to be able to just walk somewhere and just, you know, put your hood on and just be sad. You know, because it's, it is a sad thing. You know, it's a tough time, but you really don't get that chance. You know, because, you know, somebody wants to reach out to you. Somebody wants to, and you know, it comes from a good place. You know, it honestly comes from a good place because, you know, you see somebody hurt, you see somebody go through a tough time. You want to tell them that you love them and that you care for them. But, you know, sometimes you just yeah. want to be alone, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to go somewhere and not be a thousand people kind of touching you and reaching out to you. So it's, it's different. Uh, like I said, it's just one of those things you got to get used to. Uh, you know, it's not too, it's not all bad. You know, it's just different. How are those moments and conversations with Kai right now? My brother? Yeah, Kai. Yeah, um... Uh, it varies. Like I said, it varies. Uh, I think we're at the stage where it's just kind of trying to get back to 
normal as much as we can, you know, trying to adjust to this, this new life that we have. Uh, just knowing that it's gonna be tough time, you know, it's not supposed to be easy. It's not, it's not supposed to be like it didn't happen. You know, it's never gonna be that. Just about uh, things that we can do to not let his name go in vain. You know, things that we do that you know make him proud and make our family still proud. And I think that's that's where we are as a family. Ask you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so for you to play that night and just how you've been playing, you know, the last couple of games, do you just feel like just so comfortable here that this is like a, a safe place for you and, and you, that's why it was important for you to, to be here through all of this? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, just being in East Lansing, just playing the game that I love. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of been my, my safe haven for as long as I can remember. Uh, just the distraction from the, from the real world. You know what I'm saying? From reality, that's that's what it is. So I uh, went out there to play. I went out there to play because, uh, first of all, I got to play eventually. You know what I'm saying? I can't quit the game of basketball. It came too far to kind of stop now. So I felt, told myself that if I could play at my lowest, you know what I'm saying, at the, the most difficult time to play, that the next time it hits me, the next time it's hard to get out there, it won't be as hard as the, that first time. So I'll get that out the way. The next time it's probably going to hurt. You know, it's going to be tough. But I did it at my lowest. So any other thing I could probably get you. Would you say that's what motivated you to get back on the court, especially right away like that, just the feeling of being, like, safe on the court? Yeah, definitely. Just like I said, distraction. Uh, the, the best distraction I got, you know, just the place I'm most comfortable is out there on the floor. So to be able to go out there and play, Make plays, even if it's not all good, you know, it's still doing something, you're still moving, you're still active. Uh, and I think that's that's what we want from you, you know, to keep moving forward, to keep trying to you know, make us proud. A couple more. That, that decision was at the hardest it's been for you, just in terms of your decision making of how to approach basketball in life right now? Was that the uh, hardest? Yeah, day? definitely. Has it been harder progressively, I guess, after? Or? That's a good question. Um, I guess you probably don't look at it that way. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, that's. I mean, it wasn't very difficult to play. Uh, to decide to play, uh, my you know my family we kind of talked and they said you know if I didn't want to do it I didn't have to do it. Uh, I feel like that's what I needed to do, so it wasn't that wasn't difficult. Uh, the, 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 the game was awful. The day was awful. All oh, that was terrible. But the actual like decision to play wasn't bad. Just kind of figuring out a motivation, figuring out how to fight through everything that's going through your head and actually focus, you know, all those type of things were difficult to do, but the actual decision they're playing wasn't too much. Now we are going to be away for a while, but at the same time, you're yeah, going to be away for a while. I think my family's coming with me, so, I mean, it's going to be sad. It's going to be sad in Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be sad. You're going to be sad no matter where you are. So you might as well be sad in Hawaii. Uh, and like I said, they're gonna be with me, so that's gonna be huge for me. Just you know, I can be able to touch her, touch my mom, touch my dad, have my hands on them, uh, make sure everything's all right. Even if it's not all right, I still got my, my hands on them.